Okay. Now we can start. What are you taking a taste of? What have you tasted so far? This. Everything? This. And I haven't tasted this. <laughs> okay, so I think we need to use about half of that in there. But taste at your leisure. I can't open this. I'm very angry. <laughs> I can tell. Let's see if you can open that. and it's in your tummy now. Take half of that and put it in the bowl. I need a scissor. I put half of it. Uh, you put the bigger half in. I'm not a police bit surprised. <laughs> that needs to be softened up in the microwave for about 15 seconds. Please. What was I getting out of here? Oh, I need to cut up your end. So it's now six o'clock on a what Tuesday. What should we do? What should we do? I mean, how much? Oh, 15 minutes. Wait, so what were you saying? I don't know. I was just making conversation. <laughs> it is fun. It is fun. Stimulating conversation. A weird person. No offense. No offense taken. Davis even said that the other day in a PTO meeting, and I couldn't believe it. What? What? It's just, it's a weird way to start to say something to somebody. No offense, but. Yeah, no offense, but. What did she I'm not trying to be mean, but. What did she try to say? Wait, it what? didn't even make any sense in the context that she said it in, either. She was talking about a safety meeting. And she was talking about the police. What was it? Oh, it was they had to keep volunteers out of the school um, during ISTEP, which is coming up before spring break, Why? ISTEP tests, because they didn't want the students to be distracted and they have to use a lot of the rooms that they don't usually use, like the community room and that kind of thing. So they didn't want any of the volunteers to have meetings at the school or any of the volunteer parents to come in. So you can't come in when the Yeah, and I have to look up what week it is. But anyway, she was talking about it in the PTO meeting, and she said, I'm not trying, we're not trying to be mean or anything, but we're not allowed to have, you know, we don't want volunteers in the school. And I thought, I don't know. Sometimes people say automatic things that I take things way too literally and seriously and think about every word I say, and other people don't. Okay, I'm being way too weird, aren't I? Mm -hmm. Okay, so next we put this in, and we put one spoonful of this and a half a spoonful of that. Where's the spoon? And it goes from the spoon to the bowl, not from the spoon to your mouth to the bowl. Too bad. <laughs> no, really, too bad. Thank you very much. I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but I'm going to take a full full of sugar before I put it in the recipe. It's good. I think things that I did. You already tasted some. Okay. A lot. I don't care. I don't care. I want food. Food that I love. There's got to be more in there than that. Is it all hard? Mm -hmm. You're just trying to get a way too big of a spoonful. That's no, all. I'm trying to can get... Can I help? Yeah, there's there's loose help. stuff in there that you can get. You don't have to go for the heavy stuff. Stay away from the hard stuff, kiddo. Why? It'll ruin you. It will damage my teeth? Yes. Okay. And your liver. What's my liver? That is the filter of your body. What's the filter of your body? It's one of your organs that filters things that go in your body and takes out the good stuff and feeds it to the rest of your body and takes out the bad stuff. Half a spoonful of that. Really 
Easter. Stir it so that the sugar is all dissolved. Don't need to stir it up until the chicken is all dissolved. Yeah, can I stir for a little bit? <clears throat> it's ready. I thought that would be the answer I get. You want little globules of sugar in there, don't you? <laughs> it's okay, ready. Can I, can I try some? Sure. Granny Smith apples with cream cheese vanilla dip. <laughs> Do you like it? Awful. I think you'll have to eat the rest yourself. You just shut up. <laughs> don't like it. Oh. Why don't you have to a bite? Because it was just that bad. <laughs> <laughs> You're joking. You're trying to make me believe it. Okay. So you stay here and eat your apple and talk to the video. Hi. Oh. Okay. Don't go out. Somebody else has gutted it. A lot of the parts of it have fine, but have it out yourself. Why yeah. why would you do that when you have the transfer case, you know it's fifteen hundred bucks. It's fifteen hundred bucks whether it comes out of Texas or it comes out of Ohio. They're you're not unless somebody has one in a junkyard that we could find. Yeah. And they don't know what the fuck they have to sell it And so you're buying it sight unseen and you don't know if it's going to be a good part or not. Well, the guy's you're not looking at it yourself. The guy in Chicago, he gets his part Ford sells and sells them their crash test dummies, basically. The brand new cars that they're racking. They're almost aftermarket. What about getting a new aftermarket part? That's just not possible. Okay. They just don't offer it. He goes, I can't understand why anybody would do this on the fact that from Ford it's a two thousand dollar car. And it's not worth their effort or something? High higher price parts would what they would want to supply, I would think. Well, the suggestion is is that when they come in, they still your whole transmission and make oh. the guy makes it up for it. How much is this car worth without it fixed? We're about $16,000 to trade in right now without it fixed. So. I mean, you know, dude, it's with all this BS going on, I guess you'd have to get it out of the shop to get it around, but it might be worth just taking it around and seeing what you can get for it on trade-in, just so you know. I know. I looked it up. Okay, so <laughs> what, what do you think you get on trade-in unfixed? I think, well, unfixed? Yeah. 
if the guy looked underneath the car and did what he was supposed to and recognized, oh shit, there's something wrong with it, 